Hello Internet, my name is Criminal Pancake, and welcome back to the next episode of Pokemon Leaf Green. And I have a friend here today. I am Dale, and I am here. Yes, in he is. My human form and my Pokemon form. Yeah. <laughs> this time he's actually here. So if you're disappointed on the first episode, don't worry, I made up for it. So we still yeah, got. I saw, the, I saw the title of the first episode, I'm like, what? <laughs> Hey man, you gotta pay attention to those asterisks. It's business. Alright, that was the thing. And it's a Weedle. It's basically the worst version of Caterpie, in my opinion. Um, not much else to say here. It basically is the counterpart to it. I don't think it's a Beedrill isn't as good as compared to Butterfree. Use better freaking than all sorts of moves, but nonetheless, we're gonna hit it in the face with a poke BL and uh, give us some drain burmage along with some friendship. Do you just try to catch every Pokemon? Well, you need 60 to do the after game. Oh. That is a bit loud. Alright. So, so you're just catching the easy ones to get? I'm just trying to catch everything as I go along. It's a lot easier than going back after you beat the game and catching whatever you find. In my opinion. So, Weedle, you got any ideas for Weedle? Uh, not really. I'll just need a. I have an idea. Where's the W on this thing? Um, LD. Weedle Leedle. Perfect name, I know. It's amazing. Anyways, um,. In between episodes, I went back and got more Pokeballs because I kind of need some. And hey, it's a Metapod. Evolved form of Caterpie. Don't catch it in this form, it's worthless, except I'm going to because Pokedex. Ooh. And I can hit him again because it'll do less damage. The only time you want it to use that attack. Alright. Yes, it is. Unless you evolve him from a Caterpie. You're really quiet. I'm gonna fix that. I'll be right back, folks. Alright, folks, we're back. I fixed the volumes, hopefully, maybe. And we're gonna chuck a ball at this thing and give it a concussion. Maybe. Sorry, I... How did that break I have no idea. There's nothing I can do besides keep hucking poke poke at it. All it's gonna do is just keep using hard. Yeah. This thing isn't hard to catch. I don't know why that happened. Come on. I'm, to, I'm just gonna give up. I've already wasted two Pokeballs on this thing, and I can just catch a Caterpie and evolve it. You don't deserve to be killed. You can live in your misery. Alright. Well, let's just go over here. Hopefully, find a Caterpie. Alright. I can catch this guy probably, maybe. Hopefully. That would be, that would be optimum. And so would letting him survive, just like that. Well, you, sir, seem to have some very, very unimportantly listed priorities. You need to fix that. Because you're already pretty much dead and captured with the friendship concussion ball of death. There we go. You gotta level up. I know. He's so close. I know. I didn't even read those. Yes. Um, I'm just gonna name him No Read, because I didn't read his or Weedle's thing. So I'm gonna honor that by making that his name, so he can get picked on in school by all the other Caterpie children. Isn't parenting so, great? Yeah. <laughs> you can control your child's destiny with a terrible name, and then they rebel as soon as they get out of your house and do drugs and stuff. Yeah. Parenting. And we run into our first bug catcher. Hey, you have a Pokemon! Come on, let's battle him. I don't know why I wanted to give him that voice. Kind of kept me from using the Pokemon voice when he said it in all caps. And his name is Rick with a Weedle. Well, I've got a rat. He's probably going to eat up your little Weedle thing. Probably have some strange side effects, but uh, it'll all work out. Oh, see, there it is. Is that just for the time Ah? Eh? What? Is this is this the first time in your life play of having a that kind of thing? What kind of thing? Poison. 
poison? Like, uh, yeah, it is the first time I've encountered poison, you're right. Poison, if you don't know what it does, it basically takes down your health every turn a little bit, and every four steps, I think, it hurts you outside of battle. He leveled up, so I'm just gonna go to make you... <sighs> you should test the four steps thing. I guess. That's what it was in the first games, so I'm assuming that they didn't change it, but I could be wrong. Uh, Vine Whip's not gonna do me much good. So I'll just stick to tackle. Yeah, I don't really know a ton about Vine Whip, so... Yeah. But hey, you're here. We can, you can learn with the audience. If they don't know. So everyone out there in the audience can feel more comfortable because someone in the video doesn't know what's going on. Doesn't that feel great? I mean, I played Pearl like three quarters of the way through, but I still don't know a ton about it. Yeah. Because it wasn't like getting a ton of like super effective things. Yeah. He, Caterpie can't hack it? Well, that's good. He could be start. He could start revealing Kanto secrets to the rest of the region. Then they'll all look at us very funny. Okay, that was one, two, three. I guess one of those counted as four. I don't know exactly how it's counted. Anyways, as you can see, he's poisoned, and uh, he's low in health. Oh, that was actually a facade for me checking his level because uh, his level's covered up when he's poisoned or whatever for any Pokemon really. It's kind of irritating for me. So, we're going to fix that effective immediately with one of these four antidotes that I've acquired. Alright. Your time to shine, sir. Wait a minute. Whoops. I always do that. I need the wrong things. My OCD senses are tingling. I must fix your moveset list. You go up there. And you go there, and you go there. Perfect. Why does that matter? I just like to have my better moves up top, and then as the list goes down, they get more and more useless. Just so I can get to the good ones fast. As you'll see here, even though it won't be useful in this battle, but for the future, I can just mash the A button without having to move my cursor, and I can just do a vine whip. Make it easier on myself. Uh, why don't you, like, speed it up? Because... Uh, a lot of these battles are sort of required, maybe. Personally, I like to do every single battle I can possibly can, so I'm not underleveled. Usually I'm still underleveled because Pokemon. Alright, still... Yeah, I never really have the patience to do all that. Yeah. So when you first play a Pokemon game, when you're like little... Pee Wee McGee when you're a kid, you're, you don't want to do all that, you just want to keep moving in the game. But then you realize that you're totally screwed and uh, because everyone is all higher level than you. Because you skipped all those battles. See kids, skipping things and cutting corners are never useful. Unless it's a corner cutting machine. And then you kind of have to cut corners because that's what it does. Unless you gotta, um, unless you gotta cheat to use a ton of rare candies. Uh, no. That doesn't help. Why not? Because when you use a rare candy, okay, this is going to take some explaining. The way levels work is when, when you beat Pokemon, they all give you a certain amount of stat. Like, um, let's see here. Like all those like rock-type Pokemon you'll find in caves, they give you lots of defense when you take them down. But if you use a rare candy, you don't get any of that. You just get a little bit for every stat. When you could be getting like twos or threes for everything instead of just one on everything. So you'll end up with better stats if you actually legitimately level up your Pokemon. That makes sense. It's a very long explanation, it's not going to fit in a 20 minute video. You can go look it up yourself, it's all, they're Eevees, not the Pokemon. For, uh, what's it called? Something values. Uh, effort values, that's the one. Yeah. I don't really understand why, like, the items that you can find are in Pokeballs. I know, it's weird. It's always baffled me. We've already found a Weedle, so I'm just going to speed this up and hopefully get some good experience. Alright. Alright. I'm actually going to heal you. Because you've been roughing it up in them battles. Oh, crap. Well, that was a waste. I don't know why my cursor was on. 
Well, wasting two potions. That's what we do here, folks. Or really just wasting one because you only have to use one. I guess. This is true. Oh, we're at the end of this place. I'm skipping so many trainers. I can feel it in my blood vessels. All of them. And it's the Caterpie. So I can just mash the button all I want. And it'll work out A-O -A -O good. What button do you use to speed it up? Oh, well, I'm using my PlayStation 3 controller. It is, what is it? Uh, our L2. Yeah. The trigger. It might be little, but I won't let you get... But I won't like it if you go easy on me. There we go. Getting ahead of my words. Alright. Book catcher Anthony like to battle instead of the Caterpie. Those guys must be twins, because like, the other guy looks exactly like the Caterpie. I know. They, I guess they all visit the same stores. It must be like the new fed. It's like just one giant store, and they all sell the... And it, everything on the shelves is just the same outfit arranged differently. Differently. And all of the clothes are just slightly different shades of each other. That the only, they're the only ones that can tell the different shades. To everyone else, it looks exactly the same, but if, but to them, they all look slightly different because apparently all the clothes are shaded differently, very very closely, but different. <laughs> and it's a caterpie. Big surprise. Come on, just just do your little stringy shot. Put white dots all over the screen, why don't you? You nasty little bug. Does Caterpie even have a, a tackle other than that? Uh, yeah, he just doesn't like using it, apparently. He's got tackle. He's just being a wuss about it. There it is. Told you. He likes to make sure that he can go first. It's all it's, he's like a YouTube commenter. on In the YouTube comments, that is. I'm first, guys. I'm first, first, first. Oh, guys, 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 guess what? I'm first. He's, he's that guy. He has like billions of YouTube accounts. All he ever does with them is say first on YouTube videos. Terrible. Lost some of your allowance? Yeah. Sorry, kid. And them's breaks. Alright. So, I'm gonna go back because I know I've missed at the very least one or two of these people. Speed up button. It's beautiful. Is it hard to control when you have that? Not so much. I got used to it very fast. Wait, are there running shoes in this game? Yeah, I just haven't got them yet. So you get the running shoes, and you speed it up. <laughs> there you go. Or you use a bike. Yeah. See, the problem is, in the original Pokemon, which is what this one's based off of, you didn't get any running shoes. You just got the bike. And it's a Weedle. I'm gonna run. Because he's only level 4, and I'm level 10. So let's switch it up. Ooh, item. And a battle. Okay. You, sir. I don't even care. I'm just going to vine whip you, and I'm going to run. I'm a, I'm a prank battler. I'll make you think I actually care about killing you, but then I run away. And then you're injured. And you left to die in the wild with your left pinky broken or something. I don't know. I don't get why it doesn't actually show their... the opponent's health. Eh, just to make it more of a guessing game in the later battles. Because it'll be like in the later battles, you'll try... you'll hope that you're doing half health or third health. But if you can't see the actual numbers, you can't know for sure until you do it. Yeah. So it makes you more likely to not choose the most optimum move. Because if you could see their percentages, then you'd be able to make the best possible move a lot easier every time. Because you'll think, oh, he looks pretty weak, I'll just use this weaker move, and then it ends up not doing enough. And then they use a full restore, and then you have to start all over again. It kind of sucks. But in other news, we're running up to the end of the video, I'm pretty sure. I didn't start the timer until I cut in the beginning. Uh, well, on Skype, we're like 17.30. Oh. But we were talking before we actually started the video. For like two yeah, minutes. I had to balance the volumes. All right, I think I got everyone. So I'm just going to start going to the end again. Do, do, do. So let's say we have like four minutes left. Something like that. Gotta be. All right. 
out of these battles. Hopefully I run into a Pikachu. Because when I speed it up, it lags a little bit. Probably, oh no. Probably because I have Skype open. Oh man, well that was lucky. Speak of the devil, there's a Pikachu. Definitely catching this little rat thing. I'm not going to use him. I know, it's like, why aren't you using Pikachu? Oh, well, thanks. Thanks, guy. Why'd you have to do that, dude? Come on. Sorry. <laughs> how, how could you do this to me? I saw the opportune moment to catch a rare Pokemon. And Instead you of just... this Pichu, would but, have let it live. But, 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 no. Um, Why is just... a level 3 Pikachu then? Or it should be a Pichu. Pichus didn't exist in the first games. They were the second games. That's when they introduced all the baby Pokemon. And eggs. They're like, hey, we're making eggs. Let's make all these babies versions of the first game. So they did. Including Raichu Pichu. What? Is Raichu in this game? Uh, yeah. Raichu is definitely in this game. Did you know that Pokemon evolve? I oh. sure do. Hasn't happened to me yet, though. Because I'm not using a bug. But get your Charlie. We'd like to battle. He sent her to Metapod. All right, buddy. You think you're cool? You think you're tough with that Metapod? Well, you might be tough, but uh. It's gonna be a tough battle. Oh boy. Well, folks, this is time to use Leech Seed. Definitely. Because no matter what his defense is, you'll do the same amount of damage every turn with that. And pretty soon you'll start doing the exact same amount of damage with your attacks as Leech Seed, which sucks a lot. Why do you whittle him down? He's like a giant log, and you're using a pocket knife. But it'll all work out at the very end. In two years or so. Yeah, if I were you, I would probably speed this up. This yeah, is this is truth. Oh, well that was oh. lucky. Critical hit. Alright, you did some good today. And some bad. Yeah, I'm so close. Overall, you did pretty decent. But still kind of sucky, because you freaking killed that... Dang Pikachu. I'm sorry. How could you do that? Why would you do that? I mean, oh, hey, hey. Were you jealous of that Pikachu? Did it make you feel inadequate? You trying to show off? Yeah. <sighs> I will always appreciate you. You never need to feel that kind of insecurity again, believe me. I could come across a freaking legendary banana pants man guy, and you'd still be better. Mainly because his bananas are pants, and that just doesn't work. The point is, you will be appreciated. Especially at level 12. But as soon as you hit level 13, your appreciation level is going to go down. You better, you better cherish that level 12. What time are we at? Because I'm at 15. Uh, 21 minutes on Skype. All right, we're gonna go off of that slightly, sort of. So after this battle, let's after this battle, folks, the video is gonna end, and we're gonna start up again very soon. However, define soon. All right, soon. That's the definition. All right. Oh, I lost. That's what happens. You use crummy Pokemon. All right, folks. So in the next episode of Pokemon Leaf Green. Um, I'm going to finish saving the game, and we're going to exit this darn forest. See you all next time. Uh, Skype. Goodbye. Yeah.